Welcome to another video by Jitterbit. Today we will be discussing how Jitterbit can help you integrate Intercom and Salesforce. The topic covered in this video includes designing the integration in Jitterbit Cloud Studio and how we can use Jitterbit Connector Builder to create a connector to an application where we don't have an out-of-the-box connector. One of the common use cases that our customers have shared with us is to have leads data, lead data to uh, come from Intercom into Salesforce as contacts. In order to also have the Salesforce users become aware of interactions with the customers, they also want to send their conversation stored in Intercom as notes in Salesforce. This type of integration allows Salesforce users to get the same information from Intercom without the need to log into an Intercom application. So let's get started. We will start our journey first in Intercom. Currently, I have three leads, and each of these leads have conversations. So if we drill into one of the users, you can see there is conversations between the user and, uh, and us in a sort of a conversation format. And uh, let's go back to another one. Uh, this one has multiple, uh, you know, like five, four or five conversations going on. We also have an account uh, or a contact that has no conversation. Uh, currently in our sales source, we have two customers or two accounts, two contacts. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Jitterbit uh, Cloud Studio to actually migrate those contacts from Intercom into um, contact in Salesforce and also bring over those conversations as notes. So let's get started with Cloud Studio. Cloud Studio allows you to integrate uh, these two systems very easily. Notice that we do have an intercom connector. This is something that was built using our connector builder. Uh, we're gonna dive into that connector builder in just a second, but let me go ahead and get, get this in a, uh, operation actually started. Just to give you an idea, you can see that we could, uh, we're getting the leads from intercom and we're inserting those as contacts in Salesforce. And once those contacts are added to Salesforce, we're getting the conversation from uh, Intercom and then adding those as notes in Salesforce. And this is a very quick overview of the operation itself. Let's go back to our contacts in Salesforce. And if we refresh, we can see those three leads coming over uh, in Salesforce already. Now, if I drill into one of the uh, contacts, so you can see the messages that came from Intercom. And if I click on this one, uh, it says, hi, Arash, let's rock it with Jitterbit. And if we go back to Arash here, you can see that was uh, one of the conversations, which was the last conversation that took, took place. Uh, we could do the same thing with uh, our other contact. Let's pick uh, Bob Miller. Actually, this is the one that did not have a conversation. So let's go to Tom. This one had two messages. So let's click in one of them. Uh, so the, the, the body was, hi Tom, are you around during the holidays? So if we go back here and go to Tom, as you can see, that's one of the messages. So this is how you can see the data coming from uh, Intercom going into Salesforce with related objects. So now let's look at uh, the connector that we built. So connector builder allows you to connect, create uh, connections to systems that we don't have uh, connectors for out of the box. So customers and our partners can create those connectors really easily. Uh, this specific connector has, has been, you know, we, we allowed it to do three activities, get users, get leads, and get conversations. And if we look at each of these, these are making API calls uh, to, uh, to the Intercom API platform. And we provided all the different 
um, you know, the method and the path that you need to do, uh, you need to get through, and also the the body of the message. And just like that, very quickly, we can make connections to systems where uh, a connector is not available out of the box. And you can see we have multiple of these going around. Hopefully this gives you a pretty good overview of how you can easily interact uh, or integrate intercom with Salesforce.